For this video, we're going to be looking at solving an equation with a rational exponent. And so to solve equations of the form x raised to the m over n equals k, you will first isolate the power. So isolate that term with the power and then raise each side to the n over m. In other words, the reciprocal of the exponent. And the reason why we do that is because when you take it the reciprocal, when you multiply it, you end up with 1. So for instance, if I had 2 thirds, the reciprocal would be 3 halves. And when you multiply those, you get 6 over 6, which is equal to 1, which is what we want so that we can cancel that power. So let's look at a couple of examples. This first one, I have 2x raised to the 3 fourths power plus 2 is equal to 10. So first I want to isolate that power, so I need to move that plus 2 first. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And I have 2x raised to the 3 fourths power is equal to 8. And now I'm going to raise each side to the 4 thirds power. So remember I flip that power and raise it to both sides. And so when I do that, 3 fourths times 4 thirds just equals 1. So I end up with just 2x on this side. And then I have 8 to the 4 thirds power. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could just enter this into your calculator by entering 8, do that caret button, and then put parentheses around 2 thirds. That's a way that you can do it. Another way is you could put this into that radical form. And so your 3 is your index, and so this would be the third root of 8 raised to the fourth power. Well, the cube root of 8 is just 2, so this would be 2 raised to the fourth power. And 2 raised to the fourth power, I get 16. And so then I can just divide both sides by 2, and I get that x is equal to 8. Okay, let's try one more. So here I have 3x minus 1 raised to the 1 fifth power is equal to 2. Here my power is already isolated, so I can go ahead and raise each power to the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5 over 1, or in other words, just 5. And so those powers cancel out and end up with 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the fifth power, which is 32. And then I can just solve the resulting equation. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And I get 3x is equal to 33. And then divide both sides by 3. And I get that x is equal to 11.